Hello and welcome. If it is your first time here, hello again. If you are returning, welcome back. Last episode, we saw the first part of the Mandalorian arc. It was a great episode. You can check that out right here. This is part two. I'm hoping that we learn more about the Duchess and Obi-Wan's interesting <laughs> relationship. So let's get into it. Sent to investigate allegations that Mandalore was joining Count Dooku's separatist. We still don't know who actually sent that rumor to the separatists. I wonder if it was Dooku's spies. Obi-Wan Kenobi was reunited with an old friend. Old friend. <laughs> The safety of the Duchess Satine is of the utmost Shouldn't y'all have more Death Watch may be uh, backed by the separatists. troopers with y'all? So stay sharp. And y'all should watch her peoples because they are untrustworthy. She couldn't be in safer hands. Yes, I know. Then why all in the past? So you're close to her. I knew her. Why are you mad though? Why would you be angry, Obi-Wan, if nothing ever happened between you two? All secure here. Is it? Let's move on to the next sector. Of course. War is intolerable. Are you suggesting we oppose the war on humanitarian grounds? I'm going to oppose it as an affront to life itself. You don't have to be a part of the war. I get it. But also, the Separatists want your planet. They're trying to kill you. <laughs> They're trying to take over. What are you talking about? Some might argue that the strongest defense is a swift and decisive offense. I remember a time when Jedi were not generals but peacekeepers. We fight for peace. What an amusing contradiction. Satine's pacifism is a little much, but she's not wrong. Should you be fighting for peace? Should you be generals? I feel like you should have more of a problem with this, especially you, Obi-Wan. We are acting at the behest of your highness to protect you from the Death Watch and the Separatists. I asked for no such thing. Ma'am, but you have to be protected. Are they supposed to let you die? I do not remember you as one to hide behind excuses. I do not remember you to shrink from responsibilities. Ooh, you seem very like dickish when it comes to her and a little catty, Obi-Wan. Usually you're very chill and very collected. And this is an interesting, a different side of you. I'll check out the South Quadrant. Careful over there. It's dark. Yeah, very funny, Mixer. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we literally just started. And again, poor clones as per usual. Public military presence is the only sure defense against the Separatists. Even extremists can be reasoned with. Can they in this situation? Would Dooku stop if he got everything that he wanted? If, you know, Palpatine wasn't involved in all of that. I feel like you're being a little fantastical. If one can be heard over the clanking of their battle droids. Sarcasm of a soldier. The delusion okay. of a dreamer. Why are you fighting aside, like this in front of everyone at that? Fine. Are they secretly married? Or were they secretly married like Anakin and Padme? Then they got a divorce? You and Satine have a history. Master Qui-Gon and I spent a year on Mandalore, protecting the Duchess from insurgents. We were always on the run, living hand to mouth, never sure what the next day would bring. Romantic. I was thinking the same thing. An interesting situation to be in. You could die at any moment. People might catch feelings. Did they? That's what I want to know. And so does Anakin. A civil war killed most of Satine's people. She took on the difficult task of rebuilding her world alone. You didn't stay to help her. Are you supposed to though? I thought Jedi's weren't supposed to involve themselves or meddle in the politics of planets. My duty as a Jedi demanded I be elsewhere. It's obvious you had feelings for her. Surely that would affect your decision. Oh, it did. So did you want to stay and the Jedi's were like, you gotta go? Or did you choose to leave and now you regret it? I live by the Jedi code. As Master Yoda says, a Jedi must not form attachments. Did you say that to yourself when you got married, sir? But he usually leaves out the undercurrent of remorse. So he chose to leave because that's what I'm assuming about regret. If you were forced to leave, then that wasn't your fault. Our men are investigating a situation below decks. I respectfully ask you to wait here until it is settled. Looks like the contents of this box are missing. Or it got up and walked away. It Man did. Out. Separate squads. It's out here trying to kill people. Why is it so dark in here? There you are. Oh no. Red Eye, where have you been? You've had us all worried. That is so disgusting. Why would you use a body like that, you freak? Ugh, I do not like this droid. Kill it. Who are the demented people that came up with these bots? Who thought about making this? Yeah. 
stab it in the head. Double tap. Woo! How many came out of the box? Were there multiple boxes? Oh no. Oh. Thank you. Stab it in the head. Yes. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Nope. Who made this disgusting droid? I'd rather be killed by the gigantic one. Oh, my poor son. Yes. Do you always carry a deactivator? Just because I'm a pacifist doesn't mean I won't defend myself. Really? Because you were talking crap last episode about Obi-Wan defending himself. What's the difference between using that and a blaster? How did that monster end up in the hold? The question is, who smuggled him on board? Yeah. Talk to everybody surrounding Satine. No one should be trusted. Just like that swarm of Venomites on Raboon, remember? How could I forget? <laughs> I still have the scar. Y'all are very um, passionate. Y'all remember everything. I distinctly remember carrying you to safety. The scar I got after you fell and dropped me. Yes. I wonder if they ever told each other how they actually felt, and that's why they're beefing so hard. One of our four distinguished senators appears to be a traitor. I have mm -hmm. an idea how to expose the turncoat. Return to the hull of the ship. Destroy the last assassin droids. Our little friend will attack the Duchess and anyone who defends her. Except the traitor who programmed it. This line of questioning borders on torture. You're being so ridiculous right now. How else are you going to find out who is trying to kill you? Do you want to die? I'm trying to expose a bigger threat. Look at his eyes. Shifty. But it seems to like you. Of You're course. Never trust the people closest to you. They are probably liars and they're trying to kill you. <laughs> oh, heck no. You're coming with okay. me. Is he the one that spread the rumor to the senators in the first place? Cody, Rex, have you found anything? <gasps> Save Cody. Oh, heck no. Um, somebody want to save Rex? Okay. How many came out of the box? <laughs> Thank you. I'll shoot it one more time just to make sure. Merrick will try to signal his allies for help. We have to find him. Were you and Satine ever... I don't see how that has any bearing on the situation at hand. It doesn't, but we would like to know. <laughs> Feel free to tell us, please. I have the Duchess, but I'll need help getting her away. Reinforcements are on their way. Oh my god. Those droids are so hard to defeat. I'll take care of this, Obi-Wan. You, go find your girlfriend. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, Anakin, she's not my... <laughs> I love Anakin. He is the best. Release the Duchess. I took the precaution of wiring the ship's engines to explode. Dick. If you have any respect for me, you will not take such risks with so many people's lives at stake. If you die, your planet is taken over and the Mandalorians will be extremely useful to the Separatists. This is not just about you, ma'am. Stand by to disengage. I don't know quite how to say this, but I've loved you. I don't believe this. Shut up. No one asked for your opinion, dick. This is hardly the time or place for- This is literally the time and the place. <laughs> she might die. Confess it. Had you said the word, I would have left the Jedi Order. Oh my that god. That is touching. I get why the Jedi's have like the rule about attachment and stuff because you want to concentrate and completely dedicate yourself to the Jedi way, but also kind of sad. No! If you shoot, shoot me, him, you please. prove yourself a hypocrite. You don't have to shoot him in the head. You are no stranger to violence. You'd be hailed as a hero by almost everyone. There's a difference between attacking people and defending yourself and others. Do it, Obi-Wan. Come on, then. Who will strike first and brand themselves Shut a cold-blooded Do killer? it, Obi-Wan. <gasps> oh, my God. Anakin. Anakin. What? He was going to blow up the ship. He was going to blow up the ship. And I am glad that you did it, but I am also very surprised, and it makes me feel away. Obi-Wan, 
I... General Skywalker, the last of the droids have been defeated, sir. I must get back to the business of diplomacy. Some other time. You two need to have a sit down and a good, good conversation. Discuss your feelings and maybe get some closure. Look at this dick bag. The job well done, Master Jedi. Mm -hmm. Thank you. As if you actually appreciate it, dick. How ironic to meet again, only to find we're on opposing sides. The needs of your people are all that matter. Kind words indeed from a mindful and committed Jedi. I wonder if she will actually accept them if he did decide to leave the Order. I kind of feel like she will not because she respects the Jedis. I'm still not sure about the beard. What's wrong with it? <laughs> it hides too much of your handsome face. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that all about? Don't worry about it, Anakin. Very remarkable woman. She is indeed. I love learning about Obi-Wan in your past. <laughs> This episode was great. I love learning more about Obi-Wan's past and getting to see him in a different light. Um, usually Obi-Wan is pretty chill, but Satine brings that passion out of him and he acts very out of character. When it comes to the Jedi's rules about attachment, it is understandable. It does make sense to me. I get it. But also... <laughs> Wouldn't being attached to your loved ones and other people in your life bring you closer to the Force? I feel like they could have had it both ways because they gave um, one of the Jedi's, you know, the right to, you know, get married. He had many wives and kids and he was still loyal to the Jedi's. So why not make it an option? If people feel that they can handle both, then they can get married and do whatever they want. And if they don't, then they can, you know, follow the Jedi way, the traditional way. When it comes to Satine and Obi-Wan specifically, and and Obi-Wan saying, if you would have asked me, I would have left the order for you. I don't think that will ever happen because she, one, respects the Jedi's and what they're supposed to represent, <laughs> their peacekeeping ways. And she would not want him to break his vows and possibly regret it later in life. Also, I don't think that Obi-Wan is the type of person that will make that leap of faith and leave the order and try to be with her. So they're just stuck in this weird limbo place, which is sad. Hopefully next episode, they'll have an actual conversation, maybe get some closure. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you have a good one and you'll see me later. Bye.